Amy here from Amy's Planner and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a lovely day. Um, hope and each week's set up. So let me grab it out. And this is the week of the 25th of April to the 1st of May. Um, and I really wanted to use this sampler from Behaven Designs, which you get from Planners Avenue. This is Llama. It was a mystery kit last year. So not currently in the shop, but um, I was cleaning out some of my stickers and sorting out my sticker storage. And I found this and I'm like, this is what I want this week to be based around. I just think it's so gorgeous. Um, so going with the Llama theme, I then pulled this sheet. Um, I have no idea where this sheet came from. I've got nothing written on it, but I really wanted to use like these triangles, not so much the stuff in the middle, but definitely the triangles. Once I pulled those, I decided I wanted to use these date covers from Peachy Princess um, and this color, and I've already gone through and put date dots in. Um, those keen-eyed of you would notice these are rose gold and that's gold foil, but I don't really mind. Um, and then I've got my Hello May sticker from Planners Avenue. And then just in case I've pulled the other Llama mini sheets that came last year in the, um, in the mystery kit. Um, and I want to use this um, drink tracker because trying to drink a bit more water. Um, so I'm going to start with the date covers because I've already put the date dots in um, and this is so Monday the 25th is um, Anzac Day no yes Anzac Day that's right um, I kept thinking it was a different holiday but it's not it's Anzac Day um, so that's a public holiday and then term two starts on the 26th which I can't believe we're in term two already like it feels like the year has just started and like the the week the last week of term I'm sitting there going how have we done 10 weeks of term already like when did this happen and I've been teaching though so my experience principals don't teach uh, but this one does um well okay principals teach a little bit but I have a 0.6 load which is significantly heavier. Luckily, we're a very small school, so I'm able to carry that much of a load without it being too much of an impact. But, um, like, oh my gosh, <laughs> how did we get through 10 weeks already? And now we've had holidays and we've got, like, we're in term two and, like, I'm teaching VCE, so I've got two terms left to get his students ready for exams, and I can't believe it. Like, honestly can't believe it. It's freaking me out. Um, I'm just putting this sticker in here because it's so cool. And then I want to put the... I'm going to use these non-foiled glitter headers. So I actually have the foiled glitter headers beside me here. But I've decided because I've got rose gold foil there, I don't want to have too much foil. So I'm just going to use the non-foiled ones. And kind of going to build up like a little sidebar. Um, no, I'll put this one here. Hmm. Like that. Um. And then I'll put this one in like this. And then the blue one. Yeah, kind of building up like a sidebar. Hang on, am I gonna have enough space for this? I'll put this in next. I can get it off the paper. Huh, it's a bit. There we go. It was a bit stuck. Hmm. Where am I going to put my habit tracker? Because it's not going to fit. Um, maybe I put the habit tracker down the bottom. And then put a sticker at the top. Oh, I'm short. No, I'm not. 
No, I am not. I am going to make this work. No, put, put the habit tracker in first, Amy. No, yes. Look at that. It all fits. And I've got a sticker I can put here. I'm just going to put this mall stuff sticker at the top like this and yes i know it doesn't quite reach the top but it's got everything that should have gone across a bit more but i'm okay with it hopefully you could have seen all that i know i had it a bit close at one point um so i want to put hello may here have something on on the sunday can I remember what it is? No. Will I remember? Hopefully. And then I want to put in these. Like this, because I think they look really cool. I know I'm not giving myself a lot of space to write, but that's okay. I've got all this space here. And I think it looks really cool. I'm going to put these ones along the bottom where are my tweezers just to cover up this stuff i don't know i just think the the um the pattern really goes with like the llamas and uh, i really like it i didn't want to put the um the big um cactuses cacti cacti in but i still wanted to put like some of this pattern in i think it looks really cool um i'm going to find something to put there and then this one can go at the top i don't know i just think it looks really cool and really like brings something to this kit this kit i don't know it's not really a kit it's like kit leftovers um because i used the um, Hobonichi kit last year at some point. Can't quite remember when. I'll have to have a look through my planner pictures from last year and see if I can find it. Um, because that'd be cool to have that. Just want to bring some more of that color over this side. Um, I'm just thinking Tuesday. Tuesday's a good day to do that. Let's put that there. And you know what? I have a lot on on Tuesday, but it doesn't matter. I'm still going to, like, pack it full of stickers. There we go. Oh, I actually think that looks super cool. Um, now, let's put in some functional stuff. Um, let's put in this important sticker on this side. Like this. Um, I want to put in this sticker. I need to find a public holiday sticker or something to put there. I don't know if I've got any. I don't have any Anzac Day stickers anywhere, I don't think so. That's all right. And then something else happening this week. What is it? I think it's Friday. I'm just going to put the sticker on Friday, and if it's not Friday, then I'll move it. Um, all right. Is it a payday? It's not a payday. Something else happens, in, something else important happening, and I haven't put stickers in for it. I can't remember what it is, and I've got that there for notes. Um, and then I'm going to put a couple more of these little llama stickers in, because I've only really got one llama. And the whole theme supposed to be about llamas. 
Um, they're so cute. They really are. It's a very cute llama. I'm just going to put a whole lot of llama stickers in. It's like a, a little llama um, photo shoot. Llama from different angles. All right. Hmm. What is it missing? What is it missing? I feel like it's missing something and I don't know what it is. And part of me really wants to use this sticker. I'm going to pull it up, see if it fits. If it doesn't fit, I won't put it down. But I just think it's like really bright and cool. I think it would look really good there. Oh, I really want to use it. I'm just going to use it. There we go. All right. Um, let me put it back in my planner, clean up a little bit, and we'll see if it's missing anything else. I just think that looks, that, that really has brought it together. I don't know why, but it just has. Oh, it's so cool. Um, my favorite thing about this planner is it doesn't take very long to set up, but it still looks awesome. And I know I've said that before, especially when I'm using a kit, but I didn't use a kit this time, but it looks seriously cool. Um, and it took me 11 minutes, 12 minutes, between 11 and 12 minutes to set up. And I think it looks super cool. Um, and I did all of this in real time. So you can see just how quick it is to set up this planner and for it to still look super, super cool. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I think it's so good. Um, yeah. So I used a sampler sheet for this. Um, and I have a couple of little... Um, like check boxes left that I could easily put around. I kind of want to do this, put that one there. But then I'm like, is that too much of a line there? Anyway, you could definitely use that on this spread, but I don't want to fill up all this space. I kind of just want to write some stuff there. Um, have you ever used a sampler just to like set up a whole week? I mean, I know that came from a different sheet, but you know what I mean? Like, it's so cool. I could have easily put like that there instead. And that would have made perfect sense as well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.